Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to Jungles and Dragons, episode 73. Um, this morning, we're appealing to Elon Musk, uh, CEO of Twitter. Please, please, let us, let us see our friends again. We, we, all, we all just want to hold hands. You know, we're all just people, after all. Imagine there's no heaven. <laughs> It's easy if you try. Above, no <laughs> <home>. <laughs> us. Above us only sky. <laughs> Two, three, and <laughs> eleven. Oh, oh, living for living today. Alright, that's enough. That was great. I, I, think like, we, I think this is a way. Gabe, you just read that like like someone who's really uncomfortable reading a monologue. <laughs> Living for today. I ah! <laughs> I think that's going to convince Elon Musk. Um, I think I think they'll do this, Thank you, Elon. So, at the time of recording this, Elon Musk has basically destroyed Twitter. Um, like we're not even like being exaggerating, being whiny babies about it. This episode isn't going to come out for like three or four weeks, so... Um, by the time this comes out, maybe he will have fixed it. Maybe, maybe there will gone. no longer. Maybe there will no longer be a Twitter. Um, but maybe the song will still be relevant, and it will reach his ears and convince him. Imagine all the people, Elon Musk, living <laughs> for today. You know. Yeah. yeah. Imagine. Ima what's the What's the next one? Uh, imagine there's, there's no countries. countries. It isn't hard to do. Nothing to kill it's, or die for. That's like Twitter. <laughs> There's Imagine no there's no countries, there. Elon Musk. There's it's no religion no, on Twitter. And no religion. Imagine there's no all border. the people well, living there's life in There's a little peace. bit of religion on Twitter. Um, you. There's a little bit of religion on Twitter. Um, you may say I'm a dreamer, but no I'm not on the only one. You may say uh. I'm a tweeter, <laughs> but I'm not the only one. That's my That's right. cool. We should have done that. Yeah. They would. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, yeah, we ruined it. All right, Ethan, let's start uh, Start out and introduce your character. All right, Episode everybody. 73. Welcome back to Jungles and Dragons, the hit um, podcast. Um, top of the charts. Um, I'm Ethan, and I play Paul Benis, the paladin knight chimpanzee. And today's uh, funky monkey fact is um, if your monkey could be another monkey... What monkey would it be? Um, and you know, for Paul, um, um, he would be, uh, <laughs> um, Grim, Grim Glibber. The Glimmed Gribber. Um, I think he would be the Glimmed Gribber because I think the Glimmed Gribber. The Glimmed Grinner. The Glimmed, the glimmed Grinner. Um, the green also not grinner. correct. It, the the gloved gringer is the Yule uh, <laughs> The, the Yule Gab Glab is uh, oh hell yeah. He's a monkey who is friends with uh, <laughs> the dr the drammed dringler and um. I don't even remember the, what type of monkey he was. And the strin. I think he was like uh, a green strin. gorilla, maybe. Uh, he, I think he was a gray green gorilla. Um, like a top hat with, and monocle with a great that sounds uh, right. Great that sounds about goggles. Right. He wore great goggles. Um, yeah, Ethan, yeah. If you don't slow and, down, you're gonna have to ukulele apology for this. All right, man, calm down. Oh yeah, that happens. I don't. Um, what um, if Elon Musk hears our song and performs a ukulele? Ukulele, <laughs> ukulele apology. That'd be pretty <laughs> good. Drawing Twitter. All right, that's my fact. <clears throat> that's you guys it. hear that's Jake cool. Novak came back. Who's Who that? is Jake Novak? He's the I want to be the next SNL cast member guy. Oh, <laughs> he disappeared for like a year. I know he's bad. He's the Did one that said kids are dying in the schools. Oh, Great well. guy. I I don't think I know him as well as you do. You're obviously a close personal friend. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. 
Um, I'm supporter. I'm August, and at at present in the in the lore of our show, in the deep and, and detailed lore, I'm playing Spoons, the vampire spawn. But uh, hopefully soon it will be back to Spoons, the uh, the bard. And Big B presents Glory of the Giants digital pre order. Thank you to D and D Beyond for that. Thank um, you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, YouTube, thank Twitter you influencer. For that one. So my funky monkey fact today is if uh, Spoons could Freaky Friday every day, all the time, with someone else <laughs> in the jungle, some other monkey in the jungle, um, Spoons would, uh, would, oh, I had one, and it's just, it's, it's gone. I've just seen it go. I just watched it walk away, and I hate to see it leave. The monkey? Um, yeah, Spoons would, uh, the, the, the slimy spider monkey is who he would switch bodies with. Uh, because the slimy spider monkey um, is always hanging up in the trees. He never comes down, and he can always see things from above. And Spoons looks at him with his cowboy hat and his maracas, and he says, Oh boy, what fun. What liberty and freedom to be oh, like you. Fun. It is to lie. <laughs> what fun. What fun it would be. That's my answer. <laughs> to be like you. That's awesome. That's really deep and insightful. Yeah, I fuck with that. This. Fuck with that heavy. Yeah, well, it tells a lot about spirits. He wishes he could like rise above it all. You know? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes he wishes he was just like a chill guy. He just wants to like like the simple. He wishes he could be up on the tree <laughs> staring down twist. at his peons. A chill his minions. He just he wants to be a chill stoner dude with the best stories. With he such wants to good look stories. at all the hillbillies down below, <laughs> all the flyover jungles. Yeah, I oh, live in the jungle best. canopy in a crystal dome. <laughs> we live on a farm <laughs> with piggies, ticks, and pigs. <laughs> you live in a farm with cows and pigs eating worms. <laughs> eating worms. I felt like I felt like we hadn't plagiarized them in a few episodes, but now we're back. We're back. All right. I added the eating worms bit though. That was my own. <laughs> yeah. sort of twist on a familiar classic. Kind of, my kind of cool twist. It's kind of like Harrison's kind of like the bear of comedy. He puts a twist on a familiar classic. Is that what the bear I thought, does? Was, I thought he was a shadow. Are you saying that because I'm fat? <laughs> Carmi's not fat. No, but like bear, He's like a... gay, like <laughs> you're gay. Bear. bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, happy pride. <laughs> Uh, due to the recent uh, Supreme Court decision, I will no longer be GMing for these four gentlemen. Uh, they've they've found someone who uh, much better aligns with their ideals. It's, it's a brand. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey guys, Gabe here, voice actor for Eugene T. Monkey, level seven Mountain Dwarf fighter. That's also a level five Hexblade Old Capuchin Monkey. Um, and um, I guess if he could switch with any monkey, he would choose. Probably Gungulos the Thunderer, the monkey <laughs> oh, of the jungle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Gungulos, you know, always in his big temple with his big, his big maraca or big tambourine, making the thunder appear all over the jungle. He he likes that. He likes that. That's cool. <laughs> That's good. That's a good character you added. I don't have to use him. What sort of monkey is he? Um, uh, what's that? The Siamang ape with the like the frog throat. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Is that oh, the, one that's like the size of your thumb? No, that's no, the that's, those are marmosets. You, you know oh. those, those like orbs that like when you touch them, it's like like lightning stuff. It's like that with his, yeah. with, his yeah. with his throat yeah. bolt. Oh, you mean like the orb you get <laughs> yeah, and you get sucked really into you get sucked into it and you have to play the game? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, basically. Oh, you yeah. know, like Jumanji. <laughs> what are you talking about? All right, Nick. Who are you playing? Uh, 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 Ani. Um, <laughs> uh, Why are you Annie's... so coy about it, Nick? Yeah, Nick's a little. Nick's a little sort of like he's got his. He's got his. Today. He's got no. He's got his hands behind his back. He's digging his toe into the dirt. I play. Ani. You went. You went masculine. I went feminine. I, I thought he had a fan in front of his face, and he was sort of looking at us <laughs> over it a little bit with his eyes. <laughs> Um, I was thinking, I was thinking, of like a little boy, like looking down at his toe. Oh, I, I know what you're talking about. I'm, I'm there it. with you. I'm there, yeah, and there's a train going by in the background. Tie. There ain't nothing to do in this shit town. Besides, yeah. look at the dog. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, if Ani was <laughs> if Ani was any monkey, he would be um Jack from the uh MVP most valuable primate franchise. Oh because Jack he can, like, seen, like a fictional monkey. He can no, play that monkey, one's real. He, he can was, skateboard, yeah, he can snowboard, he's constantly helping out troubled young children. Uh Ooh, can he, I choose like the spy one awesome. actually? Spy mate. Oh, spy, monkey? spy mate. The, the spy monkey that I always get recommended to me on YouTube. All right. No, a different one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not the same. That's a hey guys, uh, Harrison here. Hi. Whoa, hey man. Um, yeah, I just watched hey, It Follows last night, so I'm kind of thinking about that game they play where it's like if you could switch like with one person. Like it's on my mind, so I've been thinking about it. I think the person slash monkey I would most want to switch with in the whole wide world is Dunstan from Dunstan Checks In. Because <laughs> yeah. that guy that guy can make such a little mess, such a horrible <laughs> oh little mess, and like ruin so many lives. And George Costanza is still going to love him at the end of the day. That guy and checks in. I would love to have that sort of relationship with George Costanza, you know? Dude drinks so much champagne, smokes so many cigars. <laughs> That's so true. He's living it's the awesome. life. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, also, audience, really quick, I should warn you guys. This might be a little bit weird. I, you know, classic me, procrastinating Harrison. That's what they call me. I was like, you know, I'm gonna have a couple free hours before we play on Sunday. I'll write my campaign notes for this session. Then, uh, well, what do you know? What I had to make an emergency Home Depot run. Um, because L- Lowe's is dead. Because Lowe's has passed away. Um, and I, so I didn't write any notes for this session. So, you know, I still have like my overview, uh, but it might be a little weird. We'll see. It, it might be, uh, this entire session might be like when I was trying to come up with names for the monkeys last session or two sessions ago, however long that was like the <laughs> grinner. Last session. Um, so yeah. Just oh, Beldo. <laughs> The name for me to use, Ethan, is that what that was supposed to be? Oh, I said the glib grinner, but. Oh, just, you know. it sounded like you just went. Yeah. That's yeah. the new voice. I heard it that time. Let's, let's just. Uh... Jungles and dragons and jungles and dragons and jungles and Paul Benus, you are a horrible blue fish man. <laughs> uh, Spoons, you are a terrible vampire. Oh, no, it's still the case. And uh, in front of you is little imp high mage whose head you have just glued to back, back onto his body. Um, and uh, you are holding a key to the next room. And the high mage says, I can't believe it. I can't believe you killed me. We, di- we didn't kill you. The, the mimic killed you. The yeah, you have no proof that we killed you. No proof. But, but, but uh, God, you guys are assholes. Uh, I just feel really bad. Let's let's go. Yeah, let's go. You're an asshole. Okay. I didn't mean that. And s- I, I just wanted uh, to feel better. Yeah, that was that was that, that was way out of hand, spoons. Come on. I see you're talking normal now, Paul. That's good. Yeah, it's actually really great. Thanks. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I guess these new bodies, you know, sometimes they have a weird effect on the <clears throat> vocal cords. I seem to be fine, so you know that's odd. But uh, you know, spoons has no. an accent. I'm not sure how. Uh, to us, you sound you, accent, you sound crazy. But... To us, you sound insane. Really? C- can you like emulate it for me? Yeah, it's kind. Of, uh, Paul, you were just doing it. What were you? Yeah. Uh, it's, like, it's kind of like this. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> oh, oh, you add, you added something to the software. <laughs> what, is, what is the picture for this, Doctor Han? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot August has mod powers. You can add something. <laughs> I 
Who are you pick up? Pick up. <laughs> anyway, it did get picked up by my mic next to my fucking headphones. It was so loud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could have sounded like that. My <laughs> maid says, "Oh, you're telling me I sound like." <laughs> How oh, interesting! <laughs> well, I suppose we should go on our merry way now. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's keep let's keep going. <laughs> Let's go! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Four, two. So you guys walk back out of the um the, the shark room. Um <clears throat> The sharks are still like eating each other down there, whatever it was you told oh, me. Oh, yeah. To uh, <laughs> Paul, it's just crazy noise. I, I, that, oh. man, that was a spot on impression. That was it was just, so perfect. My God. So perfect. <laughs> you guys, you guys, uh, uh, do you use the key on the door? Uh, uh, Paul, you, you do it. It could be a door that eats you or something. I don't know. First, I try to put the tiny dying man into the lock and try to see if uh, he can open it. You don't is have the tiny dying man. Uh, oh, he, yeah, he's not my asshole. You, I'm you, a fish, you check, right. you, check, you check your fish ass. and I check my fish ass, and all I find is, like, some caviar. <laughs> no, uh, one thing you notice that it's not magical, like, your, your chimp ass. Uh, yeah. Because this fish didn't wish upon a card to get a magical ass. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I actually but, just stick my finger on my butt and go... <laughs> No, yeah. I stick my finger up my butt and I go. Oh, that, okay, that was not okay. I forgot. You, Wrong you, you pull, okay. you pull out the tiny clinging remora, man. <laughs> I pull out a little fish hook. Oh, thank God! All right. No, yeah, you pull out like a barnacle. Ah, <laughs> oh, barnacles. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll just use the key. So you take your uh, your brown finger and you know wrap it around the key and uh, turn the knob and yeah the door opens and you find yourself in what looks to be some sort of crypt. There is a um, uh, a coffin lying in the middle. Uh, this uh, tall stone coffin. Uh, there is a painting in the back of a, a noble looking vampire. And yeah, it's just a stone room with some pillars in it and a coffin. And um, <coughs> the high man says, "Oh, it looks like we found Baron Strahd's crypt." <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Sir I... Sir Gore told us there should be some way to get to Malg's laboratory where the soul totem is from here. Do you guys see anything? Well, let me. Uh, uh, well, uh, do you guys see anything? Blue's Clues. Um, that's actually Dora. But yeah, nice door, it is that is more that's more door esque. You're right. All right, I I unzip my little thing, open it up. What? And <laughs> I, pull what? The, I pull my pants down, um, and then I start looking around. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah I, give me a um, investigation. Honestly, give me a uh, search check because I've been playing Delta Green. But yeah, it would be investigation. All right. Let me. Gotta see what my investigation is on my little fish card. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, look up Sabogine Priestess. That's the specifically the stat block you're using. Oh, Paul's mm. a lady. No, he's not a lady, but they don't have a priest. Uh, All right, uh, that was a block. that was a four. Yeah, I don't see um, shit. Yeah, you you kind of look around, you trip over a rock. Um, can I can I stick my vampire nails under the lid of the coffin? And feel around in there. Um, I don't think your nails are quite long enough to like feel all around the coffin, but you can uh, like lift the lid off if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna try and ratchet them up, ratchet that damn lid up. Yeah, okay. you 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 very easily lift the lid off of the coffin, and you see inside is a skeleton wearing these uh, dusty, decaying old clothes like a nobleman would wear. 
uh, sort of a black suit, and the skeleton has a stake through its heart. Holy oh my man. god, delicious! I look to camera. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I appreciate it. Wow. Uh, okay, is this the way? Is the is the way out? Hi, mage. Is the way out here? Is it this man? Um, I mean, if I had to guess, that's probably the tyrant Baron Strahd. Um, so you know, Baron Strahd von Zarevich. Oh, it's, it's not the Paul. It it's not the way I out. Can't remember. It's the tyrant Baron Strahd. <laughs> yeah. So um. No, that's probably not the way out. That's probably like one of the okay. most evil people in history. Probably the the second most evil person to live in this castle. You know, the first being Maug, obviously. Says you. Uh, he turned us into monsters. Oh yeah. Hey. Yeah, what? he did. No, he did. But we can forgive him, oh. right, guys? Yeah, we can forgive him. But, but uh, okay. yeah, no. So, no, uh, like, don't can... don't mess with the skeleton, please. All right. All right well, what, right? what do you think, High Mage? What, what the hell's going on here? I, I think there's probably a, a secret passage or somewhere. You know, it's an old creepy castle. True, so That true. would make sense. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start, start sniffing the walls. The around the walls, yeah. Start feeling Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, uh, both of you give me another investigation check. Alright. I got an 18 this time. Uh, investigation is intelligence, right? Yes. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you would be using okay. your intelligence to work. So I get plus zero. That's a flat 13 for me. Not Okay, fantastic. but either of those would have solved it. Uh, so you feel around this room, and Paul, uh, you bump into one of these pillars, and you push in like a like a button on the pillar that was kind of hidden there. And you hear this stone grinding noise. And um, uh, a, like a, a small doorway opens up on the, the east wall. Hey, guy, I, I got it. Look, 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 I got it. I got it. Oh, goody, Paul. Oh, good job. I almost don't hate you now. Oh. Congratulations, Paul. You did the, this is the best thing you've done so ever so far. Thank you. Yeah. Well, High five. You know, I try my best. You guys want to go on then? Yes. Okay, um I wait. Go, I go wait, 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 wait. What? What is it? All right, let's let's go. Like, no, I just I just want to wait a sec. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, as you guys leave, oh. uh, both of you give me a charisma saving throw. Got his That's one. Is the saving throw calculated differently for this fucking shit? For this fucking probably bullshit? not. Probably not for the enemy sheet. Probably. Oh, saving throws: Dex plus six, Wisdom plus three. Neither of those are charisma. Uh, my charisma throw is fifteen, okay, and mine is. Eight. Treasure. Um, as you guys are leaving, uh, <laughs> Paul, you, uh, you detect a little bit of treasure. Um, you look over, and you oh. see that on this uh, vampire corpse, there is a beautiful, shining golden ring on its finger. <laughs> and before you leave this room, you need to have that ring. Oh, that ring. I want it so badly. What, what's I, wrong, Paul? I wiggle my fishy fingers over to the ring, and I pull it off its finger. Why, you why do you speak to, this out loud as but, you do it? <laughs> But the the ring is like stuck on this skeletal finger. You have to pull really hard. Give me a, a strength check. I oh, put my it. fishy Come mouth on. around the finger and I <laughs> suck as hard as I can. Oh my god! And I got a nineteen. <laughs> oh, with a nineteen. Oh, well, come on, you, let's go. You pop the ring off the finger with your mouth and your head lurches back and the back of your head bonks the stake and the stake slides right out of the skeleton. Whoa. I did it. 
I got the ring! And the skeleton starts to shake, and it starts to chatter and rattle. Its bones rattle. And uh, the high mage says, Paul, what did you just do? Look at this ring I found. This, the, oh. this, this sort of strange humming noise emanates from the bones of the skeleton, and you watch as first muscle emerges from these bones, muscle and sinew, and then skin, and these old tattered clothes oh, start to repair themselves, and before long, you see a face with a black widow's peak, and you oh. are looking at a vampire, not okay. the vampire in the painting. Instead, Dracula. What? Uh oh. What? Dracula says, Oh, thank God, I'm alive! I'm alive again! The somebody has removed what? the stake oh. from my check chest! Dracula, you was remember? It us. You? you remember? Did us, you right? save me? Dracula. I'd, I've never known a blue fish man, but I thank no, you for Dracula. saving me. No. He gives you a big kiss on the lips. Oh. <laughs> uh. Gee. Oh, now, now I'm just doing a Dracula voice. Okay, okay. Dracula, um... W I Hi, Vampire Spawn! How <laughs> wonderful! Perhaps you can do my bidding. Oh, no, Dracula, we, I, I'm trying to think of how to articulate this. Uh, is, there, is there sand on the ground? <laughs> or some kind of dust that we can draw in? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's very dusty. <laughs> Alright, can I, can I do my best to draw a picture of me and Paul in our, in our normal bodies? Yeah, give me like a, I guess a, uh, what, uh, what would performance be? Charisma? Give me a charisma, I guess, to try to draw. That doesn't make any sense, but give me a charisma to draw. That's gonna um, be, it's gonna be a flat. Uh, six? Six. No, six. no. <laughs> you tr you just draw like stick figures and they're completely unrecognizable. And this is, ah, a beautiful drawing. You will come in handy, my minion. <laughs> no. Uh, Dracula, it's... I, okay, we, it doesn't matter. We've met before, uh, and uh, why are you here? I don't remember you. Oh, well, this castle used to belong to a famous vampire in these these worlds, sort of an equivalent yes. to me in my world, I suppose. And I oh, he had been Dracula, deposed. Dracula. We, we are the the ones who, uh, the, the monkeys who summon you all the time. Like, at least three or four times. What? Uh... <laughs> Uh, does a 18 a, I, beat your armor class? Yeah, of course it does. <laughs> he starts oh, yeah, strangling you. You brought me to this twisted world! You took me from my friend Frankenstein and the mummy! We can bring you- wait, wait, wait! We can bring you back, we can bring you back! He takes out of Bring me back, you say. We- we just need to kill this guy. Uh, that we're Wait. if you if you join us and kill this guy, we'll take you back to your world with Frankenstein and the mummy. Did you and get stuck here and, and, and like, the creature from the Black Lagoon and Frankenstein and the mummy? You say, I miss my friends, Mister Hyde and the Green Hag. <laughs> the Green Hag. You'll you'll have a Mad Monster party. Ma mash you'll have the Mud Man. Ah, my the Dracula. Um, how did you get staked here in, in like the last three weeks? Well, I uh, heard that the, the ruler of this place, the great vampire, had been deposed some years ago by this man, Mal. So I decided to live in this crypt where nobody comes poking around. But unfortunately, they found me and they staked me here. Well, guess what? If you kill Maug, not only can you A, uh, own this castle for yourself, if you want, B, Bucket, come, take back the whole to, come back to your world with... I don't want to own this castle. I want to go home to Frankenstein, my wife. <laughs> okay, Frankenstein, comma your wife, comma will be there. Um, no, if you Frankenstein, us... my wife. Yes, Frankenstein, comma your wife. Uh, like I'm. That's an attributive tag. If we're talking oh, AP style, I so I am referring to Frank. Them. No, no, they are they they are one and the same. I'm just doing an attributive right. tag as per AP style guide regulations. Um. You, if you have come with us, you can be reunited with Frankenstein, comma, your wife, comma. Hmm. Sounds good to me. Ah, 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 ah. All right, that was easy. All right. Freaking sweet. I Freaking must tell sweet. you, though, I've been staked for so long. 
It has made no. me thirsty. Could I have a little bit of wet blood? Yeah, hi, uh, hi Mage. Give him some blood. No, what? No, absolutely not. Hi, you, hi Mage. I, I, you are a wizard. Conjure blood. Conjure blood. Hi Mage. Th there's no inch. point in, in arguing. All he's going to hear is this. <laughs> 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 Dracula says, Did you guys hear something that sounded kind of like? <laughs> yeah, it's just this, it's just this imp. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Ah, you mean beautiful? I love to crack their necks open like a soda can and drink the blood. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. You can have a little bit of his blood. Oh no, no! I tell you what, Dracula. Dracula, there is there in in but the next room. There is a pool full of sharks' blood. They'll all be dead by now. Go help yourself. Sharks' blood. Ah, goody, goody, my favorite. Uh, he dashes out. <laughs> His legs like bicycles. <laughs> <laughs> and in a few minutes, he comes back, and his chin is covered in blood and green, brackish water. And he says, "I love seafood." Oh, that's oh. funny. That is funny. It is quite funny. I'm a sort of a funny guy. You are Dracula. <laughs> yeah. Dracula. Okay, right. let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's find out. Yeah, you guys enter not? this secret passage, and let's cut to Gabe. Sorry, uh, Eugene and hey Arnie. Guys. <laughs> it's oh, always uh, Gabe in the real world. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know why it's always Gabe that I do that way. I don't think you've um, ever said August once. Uh, Gabe. Sorry, I did it again. Uh, <laughs> Eugene, <laughs> Eugene, you have just watched as Ani turned into a bear, tried to kill Mr. Hollywood. Sorry, tried to kill the head honcho. Um, Jesus Christ! The head, the head honcho turned into a demon, um, but wouldn't fight back. You turned Ani into gas, and then Ani turned back, but now he has hair again. <laughs> Ani, is that you? Is that, is that really you? I think so, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> man. Er you're, you're so handsome, Harry Ani. You're not That's ugly my new anymore. Name. You've got to call. You have to call Eugene. You have to call me Harry Ani. What? Yeah. You have to. Is it with a hyphen or no hyphen? Because is it Harry Ani or Harry Ani? Harry Ani. Okay. Is, 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 is there a, is there a dash in there, Ani? Is it like Harry Dash Ani, or is it like Harry yes, Space Ani? Harry oh, Ani, one word. Oh, there's a, a dash. Period? But it's not where you think it is. What? <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, I'm glad you're oh, back, you're Perry, always Lonnie. clever, Ani. You're always funny. I'm glad you're back. Uh, it seemed like a, <laughs> some sort of a demon devil tried to overtake you. So that was... Yeah, I think I made a deal with Satan. Demon, demon I, dash I devil. A, uh, well, Asmodeus, not Satan exactly. I had a feeling uh, now that I was out of the jungle, out of my protective barrier, they'd be sending someone after me, but I uh, didn't think it'd be my own. Well, Ani, do you mind if I call you my own son? You know, I, I don't mind um, at all, Pop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't mind if I call you Pop. Oh. Not, not at all, boy. <laughs> uh. Uh. Uh, well, uh, I'm glad you're back, Harry Ani. Um, I um, I suppose I have some explaining to you do to you uh, boys. Yeah, 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 man. So, how how long has this been the gig, huh? Well, I've always been a demon. Uh, I've been a demon longer than I've been an orangutan. Um, <laughs> uh, so. You guys, uh, you've been in this forgotten realm for a little while. Um, you heard of a Three hours. story of a of a mad god? You guys heard that story? I feel like we have a while ago. Paul has. I don't know if he told you guys about it or not. Phil Tippett? No, not the Phil Tippett movie. Uh, <laughs> I love that so, movie. Long, long story short, um, the god books, which I'm sure you know about by now, the Book of Life was one of them. 
uh, they they were more or less created by the power of a of a certain mad god. Uh, this mad god is sort of like the father of all demons. It's a long story. I used to work for the guy. Um, didn't really like it, but as a demon, I kind of have to. First, the mad god had the books, right? Mm-hmm. Or he they, he didn't yeah. exactly have yeah. the books. He created the books from his power when he knew he was going to be defeated, right? Then these people, the the urban sprawl, ended up with them, try to take over the whole universe. Long story, long story. Uh, then the gods defeated them. Horrible war. The gods ended up with the books themselves, but were fighting over them. Almost as horrible a war. So, um, me and another demon friend of mine, we sort of... Uh, snuck in and stole the books so that the war would stop. And that made all the gods real mad, including Asmodeus, the god of hell, who sent the demon, sorry, the devil, demon devil, not the same thing. I'm a demon, he's a devil. They sent the devil after me um, because of that. Uh, But uh, so, yeah, uh, my friend, he put seven of the books here on this world uh, figured it was sort of a small, um, low technology, low profile, ro- 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 low profile world be a good place to put them. But so that no one on this world could ever unite all eight books and bring back the urban sprawl, or heaven forbid, bring back the mad god, or become their own version of one of the two, I took that. one of the books and put it on Earth, and that is how our jungle came into being from the sort of evolutionary powers of the Book of Life. I see. And uh, that's how, you know, how it went. And at first it was just about, you know, protecting the universe, guarding the book. But as I saw the effect that it had on this jungle, the way it changed the residents, the monkeys, the way it turned them into, well, little people, really, I, I came to love them and I came to see them as my family. Well, Head Honcho, yeah. With with despite all this chaos going on, still glad it happened, you know. Yeah. Then without that, we wouldn't have old Harryani right there, huh? Old oh, Harryani, that's me. I suppose <laughs> that's true. You know, without the, the <laughs> book of life, um. But you know, um, pretty big blunder in my plan. Me and my friend, my demon friend, uh, Jack. By the way, you might. Probably don't know him. Clearly, the you know the book huh. of reality. Someone used it, Neverwinter used it to come to our world and steal the book of life. So uh, maybe we didn't plan ahead too good, because now uh, very possibly all the books are going to be united again and everyone's going to die. So you know, not not too good going on. But what else are you supposed to do with the books? What, other than hide them, and no matter how hard you hide them, they always come back eventually. Yeah, maybe like, like hide them by page or something, or like... It's not a bad idea. None of that matters right now, though. What, what matters is that you guys have made it back. You guys have made it here to our, our new little home, and um, it's, it's good. It's good to see you again, boys. And I'm, I'm real happy about it. Real pleased. It's a pleasure. Oh. So, Hinacho, um, we've kind of had some discussions, and we've been weighing on this for a bit. Should, are you feeling we should stay, or should we go? Go back to the jungle, or try to stay here and make sure things don't end up too bad for, you know, um, old Po' Boy and Hogbottom the Low? Oh, well, I mean, whatever happens with these god books, it doesn't end with this world, Eugene. Uh, once this world is destroyed, they'll move on to every other world. Even if Neverwinter, you know, doesn't have any cosmic goals in sight, um, the, you know, the, the, the plague will spread, Eugene. Let's say they take over this world. That's not going to be enough for them, and it's not going to be enough for the books either, because the Mad God, he's in there. The Mad God's in there, Eugene. <laughs> It'll well, not exactly. His his essence is in there. The Mad the God is not is... exactly in there, Eugene. <laughs> but it's his essence. But my, right. it's my, a, my, it's my point. My point being, the books are not going to be satisfied with one world. Huh. All right. So I think we we I would say nip it in the bud, frankly. That that makes sense. Spoons walks up, <laughs> and he says. 
But don't you want to go home? I mean, let's let this Malga guy worry about nipping it in the bud. He seems to have everything under control. Yeah, but, you know, I'm going to be honest, man. I've been kind of getting used to this whole deal. I don't see a point in just stopping. It's starting to get... We might as well keep going to the end. But, Eugene, you said earlier you wanted to go home. You're not going to change your mind now, are you? And the Paul Venus walks in and he says, Yeah, that's right! We don't like turncoats! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> I got a splitting headache. I did say that a lot. I start taking a bunch of vitamins, and then... <laughs> then I, I, then I t- drink a bunch of water. I put a big life straw into the stream and drink the whole stream. Oh, Whoa. man. <laughs> Man, I, I don't know what to do anymore, guys. Come on, come on. We can't just think about all the shit we've done already. Yeah, we can't. We can't just. You can't just go back to vegging out. But Eugene, I'm, I miss my home. I miss the um, the you know the stuff. The stuff we have at home. I miss it. You know the stuff. Yeah, but Spoons, you didn't really have a lot of stuff back there, you know? You oh, I'm sure st- I had a lot of stuff. I don't know, man. Name some I of the stuff you had. <laughs> 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 oh, um... You know, there was, like, uh, the green thing, and uh, Paul says, Yes, I remember that! I remember the green thing! <laughs> <laughs> that does sound like Spoons. <laughs> He would Annie, have Annie. something called the green thing. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Annie, a little, a little, a little huddle right here. A little huddle, just you and me, real quick. Okay, okay. You're not going to exclude us from the monkey huddle, are you? Uh, this is a bit? no. This is a different type of huddle. This is a little guy huddle. Um, okay. <laughs> honey, what the what the hell? Paul's colorblind. <laughs> he doesn't know what green is. <laughs> is he? <laughs> <laughs> is that canon? <laughs> yeah, Ethan, is that canon? Is Paul colorblind? Um, no, but okay, honestly, Eugene, just, Eugene just thinks Eugene he's colorblind. Eugene just say then. it, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, I can't believe I never knew that. <laughs> and, and Spoons, he didn't even mention his, his big stack of magazines once. I don't think he used to talk like Dracula. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of assumed it was a bit he was doing, but now, but it, it is getting a little funky now. Yeah, I say we I kill him. Th- <laughs> and cut I him was open. thinking the same thing. I think we, I think we cut him open. <laughs> I think we look at their brains. <laughs> I think we, I think we put leeches on them and, and take out all the little, all the little toxins inside of them. Yeah, Drill a little a hole idea. in their head to make all the ghosts get out of there. I wish we, uh... Should we should we get the head honcho? Should we ask him about this? Right. I think he would know. Yeah, maybe maybe he has like X ray glasses or something. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, head honcho, do, do you have X ray glasses yeah. or something? <laughs> no. Yeah, man. Shit. Well, that's that's my plan, hold Don. On, what are on. you thinking, you, honey? You guys are you guys are talking about how spoons is acting kind of weird, aren't you? Yeah. Um, do you know, do you know what sort of, do you know which god book Malg has? Because I don't. It's, it's not reality. It's not time. It's not, it's not space. Well, look, I'm just, I'm just saying, um. Is it, is it, it's the book of souls, isn't it? It's not the book of souls. It could, if, if Mal potentially has the book of souls, um, just saying he could have possibly switched consciousnesses between you know spoons and another being perhaps a henchman of his a dracula maybe perhaps a dracula Mm-mm. hey uh wait okay i got a plan i got a plan all right so okay. i'm gonna dig i'm gonna grab out a shovel and then i'm gonna dig a trench around spoons <laughs> like a circular <laughs> trench and then I'm gonna pump my stomach a bunch of times until I start throwing up all the water that I drank. What the and fuck? Then, and then I'm gonna stir the water around until it's running water. <laughs> and then I'm gonna say, <laughs> "Spoon, okay, jump wait, over let this." Me, what ch- what checks would this would this be? Um, uh, water check, pump check. 
So first of all, give me a constitution check to throw up all your water. That is a 16. Okay, you pump, you, you, uh, you punch yourself in the stomach and throw up the stream that you just drank. A lot of water and a little monkey. Um, now give me, I guess, a survival check for the sort of craftsmanship of filling up a trench and stirring it and making it run. That is a 14. Okay, yeah, you do it. Um, you, uh, you quickly, uh, you, you pull a, uh, you, you reach into, uh, Paul's ass and he goes, Oh, what's this? And you pull out a shovel and then you, you dig a trench around spoons and he's going, Hey, what's going on, man? What's the deal? Uh, is this a game? Oh, I remember the game we play. Oh, 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 oh. And, um, uh, that's how he laughs. And you, um. <laughs> you uh, you dig this trench around him. You throw up all the water. You take a, a big stick and stir it and make it run. And what do you say? Spoons, jump over this. Oh, well, I would really love to, but you know about that thing I have with the ankle. I can't jump so good. All right, honey, kill him. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? No, 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 why did you kill me? Why did you kill your friend Spoons? Well, wait a second, Eugene. If they've switched consciousness, then that's Spoons' body. Yeah, so we, so we, we need, to, punch a we hole need in, to lobotomize We need to punch a hole in his head. Yeah, so the other one can slip uh, right in there. Paul, Paul leans down next to you and he says, Someone has switched bodies with Spoons? How terrible! It's horrible, I know. Oh, let's kill him! <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's pretty close. <laughs> uh, and Spoon says, what? But no, don't kill me. I'm your, me, your friend Spoons. Remember my song I used to sing? La da di da. La da di da. I think there's a, second opinion, there's a second opinion we need to ask for. And I put my hand up his ass and I take out Tiny Dying Man. Um, Tiny Dying Man's not in there. Okay, we gotta kill him, Ani. Fuck. This is like the thing. What? No, don't kill me. Why would you kill me? Alright. Alright, man, we gotta I, figure this out. How do, how do we kill them without killing? I just... Uh, what, what is it you're looking for in my, in my anal cavity? You and a tiny... You no, know, tiny dying man. Come on. Oh, the tiny dying man. Well, I, I, oh, I'm, I'm afraid I forgot him. I left him in my room. Oh, how... Clumsy of me! Stupid Paul! Stupid Paul! Stupid Paul! I, I start... I'm gonna start backing away from both of them. <laughs> la di da di la di da da <laughs> <laughs> Such a good song. I fucking right. love that so much. Can I try to learn how nice Paul? No! That's not a d d skill! You don't have a lobotomized <laughs> skill. Roll the lobotomize. <laughs> if, and if you lobotomize Paul, then when his consciousness comes back, he's still going to be lobotomized. <laughs> well, we gotta find, we gotta knock them out. We gotta knock them out at least. All right, Eugene, I'm gonna hold you up to his head, and you're gonna punch him really hard. Um, you know what? Yeah, that sounds great. That's that sounds just about it. Uh, All right, ready? You go. High, you go low. I go high. Which, which one? Which one are you doing that to? Ah, uh, Paul. Um, ha, 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 you don't want to hit me, Arnie, <laughs> Eugene, my friends. It's me, Paul, your friend. Remember those summer <laughs> nights <doing> together? <laughs> you have all of our gifts. <laughs> remember remember oh those hot God. summer nights we spent together? You have all of our gifts. What a true miracle. Re remember... Re Remember when we went to Greg's parents' house and we, we found his uncle's nudie mags buried under the tree stump? And, oh, we laughed and laughed and laughed. You don't remember that? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> no, I really don't. <laughs> oh, how we <laughs> laughed. <laughs> that may have happened. <laughs> I'm going to try to knock him out. I don't like him anymore. Okay, give me a give me a, an attack throw, and um, on a twenty or over, you knock him out. On under, you just deal regular damage. Ah, fuck! All right, that's just an eleven. Uh, 
Paul, what's your armor class? Well, take your armor off. Pretty sure it's above 11. Well, you should have like 18. Yeah, Yeah, so you don't hit him. You miss. And he ducks and he says, Malg! Malg! Help! Malg! (laughs) Annie, go. But you could do what? Turn turn into a to like a, a snake and tie him up. What? <laughs> That's something you can do. do? I don't know. No, tie him up as a snake. <laughs> like like the constrict him. But honestly, it would be funnier if you turned to a snake and then grab some rope and then tied him up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna let you deal with these guys later. We're gonna cut back to Paul and um, August. <laughs> Saturday <laughs> in the park. In the park. Uh, I think it was the 4th of July. Uh, you guys are uh, singing uh, that uh, as you walk through this, uh, <laughs> this uh, secret passage. And Dracula's going, Saturday <laughs> in the park. <laughs> A man selling ice cream, singing Italian song. The high, ma- the high mage is singing. I'm gonna kill myself. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. Uh, you know, Paul, Paul, I've often said that me and you are kind of like a Tom and Greg relationship, you know? Oh, I thought you were gonna say Tom and Jerry. I was gonna say Tom and Jerry. <laughs> no. Ah, Tom and Greg from my favorite show, <laughs> Succession. Suck, suck, Session. Succession. <laughs> ah, that is the scariest show I have ever seen. <laughs> when the plane crashed into the tower in the final season, it was so scary. <laughs> what? Damn. You know, they're all standing on the balcony, like oh, in that yeah, professional yeah, yeah, promotional yeah, image, yeah, and then a plane yeah, crashes yeah. into them. People it was dancing, so scary. People laughing, a man selling ice cream. You guys, uh, the Italian song. As you guys, as you guys walk, <laughs> you you um you see that this that little um little like slots in the stone wall that you can open up, and when you do, you are looking into rooms in the castle. You see the rooms you were sleeping in. You see the dining hall, and eventually you open up one of these slots and you look through, and you can look what ap- at what appears to be some sort of laboratory, white floor, metal tables, lots of like. Uh, weird bottles and tubes. You also see a huge black pillar with sort of an ominous hum emanating from it, and it's vibrating slightly. And high, the high mage says, that must be a soul totem. The other thing you see is a large furry figure, like like seven foot tall furry figure lying on a table, and he's wearing some sort of some sort of suit some sort of mechanical suit, and tinkering on it with his back turned to you is a man with brown hair wearing a white lab coat. Oh my god. He's tinkering on Bigfoot. Wait, Paul, I wanted to say, you know the the other song that does anybody really know what time it is? Does anybody really care? I don't know that one, I'm sorry. I just know Saturday in the Park. That's all my only musical repertoire. Um, Okay. All right, okay. guys. Hey, I'm What happens if we touch that totem? I I don't know what happens if you touch that totem, but I imagine if you destroyed it, um, all the you know all the souls would be returned to their original bodies. If their original bodies uh, are still alive, if not, okay. they'd probably die. All right, oh. then we got we gotta destroy that to get back to our bodies. Wait, but but we don't want to we we don't want to alert this guy, you know? Okay. Dracula, 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 Dracula. Uh, if you if you say it three times, he appears. There he is. <laughs> I said it like ten <laughs> times, Dracula. Hello, you you said my Shut name three times. I appeared for you. Dracula, Dracula. Okay, you see that guy in the lab coat? Yes. I heard his blood tastes amazing. <laughs> really? No, that's what you heard. I think you should go. Uh, I I'm giving you permission to go have a feast on that man over there. Okay, I'm kind of you do that. from the sharks. Well, you ever heard of dessert? Come on. Uh, Scientist blood, it's good for your bones. Mm. Um, so you eat him, 
and then spoons you got any like big it reminds me of an old stuff? vampire folk toy. oh my you god know one? <laughs> la, la, dee, da. La, dee, da, da. shut up la, la, shut dee, da. up okay shut i up. really i really hate to say it but i love how that sounds right now i think it's the body <laughs> but like i'm really into that every vampire loves that song Oh my oh, god. But I do love that song. You know, the, the, Dracula! The... <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Hi, Mage. Hi, Mage. Hi, Mage. Hi, Mage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, keep your voice down, <laughs> Mage. Okay. <laughs> do you realize how loud you sound? You sound like this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, like, that guy oh, notices. Oh, 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 you do, you do that, pod, and immediate, immediately, uh, you look through this slot, and the scientist turns around, and he looks around wildly. <laughs> oh, Paul, you, Paul, you can't do that! You can see him more clearly now. He is a, a sort of a, a middling height, a slender, bony man. Sort of a bookish look to him, messy brown hair, thick glasses. And he pulls something out of his pocket. He pulls out a bronze pocket watch, and he opens it, and he says, Oh, God, would you look at the time? I better hurry up with this. And he turns around and continues to work on this large, furry figure, which you can now see is a Sasquatch. Oh, okay. okay. Do, I, do I recognize this stuff? You do, Spoons. Um... Okay. More memories come flooding back to you. First of all, you recognize this man as Simon Grinter. He was a scientist who oversaw much of the experiments at Butterfield and exper experimented on you several times. However, he couldn't use you in his more dangerous experiments because the other doctors said you were too valuable. Of course, eventually he became director and could have done whatever he wanted, but that's about the time that you escaped. You recognize this Sasquatch as well. You remember sitting on the, the couch watching TV with Elvis and Morticia Adams' family, and there was a third figure uh, there as well, or I guess a fourth, including you. And it was a very tall, very large figure, a good friend of yours, yours who was brought there from some exotic land, uh, a primate, but one that uh, is pretty obscure, not well known, a Sasquatch, in fact. And his name was, or the name he chose in this laboratory was, The Adventure of Hugo Cabaret. <laughs> That's a name? Or Hugo for short. Yeah, he read the name oh. of the movie wrong. I ha uh, hate that movie. Wait, what was the movie called, actually? The, the Invention Hugo. of Hugo Cabaret. It's the the Inven Invention no, it's just of Hugo. The movie's Hugo. called Hugo, but the book is called The Invention of Hugo Cabaret. Oh, okay. Okay. So I thought it was The Adventure, but yeah, he read the it wrong. He's a Sasquatch. He can't <laughs> read well. Oh, oh, Paul! I, I, oh, Paul! I, I, are you, are you okay, I a, man? I, I have a pit in my stomach. Oh God! Oh, it's all doomed. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. We go around and say, Dracula, look at me. <laughs> I take. I'm a looking. Hand. Dracula, we go around in circles. Dracula. Oh, nothing ever gets solved. And um. A moment later, uh, a door on the far end of this laboratory opens, and two gnolls, these tall hyena humanoids, are dragging a hobgoblin in. Two hobgoblins, actually. They're dragging in two hobgoblins, one man and one woman. And they're shouting, screaming, No! Let us go! Let us go! Let us go! We won't talk anymore! We won't talk anymore! And um, Grinter looks over them and he says, Won't, uh, won't talk about what? And the, the female hobgoblin says, uh, about, about all the, the, the weirdness here in, in Barovia. The, the chairs set of tables for, for people that, that don't exist. The, the, the people in paintings that don't exist. We won't talk about it anymore. We promise. We promise. And Grinter says, I'm afraid it's too late for that. You see... Barovia is a happy city. It's a singing city. It's a city of music, and the way we keep it like that is by making sure people don't uh, question things. And, well, the two of you are making people question things. But it's fine, because soon no one will remember you at all. 
No one will question where you went. No one will know you ever existed. Because of Malg's little beautiful device. And he walks over to the soul totem. And he starts to rub his hands on it. And it starts to vibrate harder and hum um, with, a, with a higher frequency. Sort of... And he says... Bam, 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 bam. Bum, 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 and the pillar starts to go. Bum, 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 and this noise fills the room and it echoes off the walls, and you feel your bones vibrating as the hum and this noise overtake you, and the two hobgoblins—they're shaking. They're going, no, 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 and then their bodies fall limp and the lights go off behind their eyes and they don't say anything more. And uh, Grinter says, take the bodies to the incinerator and the gnolls drag them away. Holy hell. Oh no, oh no, oh no, okay. So if we want, if we break this thing, we're going to kill a lot of people. Uh, Well, uh, I mean... Sir Gore said that their souls end up in objects around the city. They're basically already dead. No, that's that's true. He, um, that guy, uh, he he's the um, he's the one who who tortured me when I was. I I hate that I have to say this in his voice. This is really, this is not very um, this is this doesn't feel very uh, very sort of you know earned or uh. But this is the, that's the guy who, who, who I, I was in his lab, and he was, uh, he's sort of, um, that's the Sasquatch that was in the lab, too. Uh, oh. Yeah, he's, um, we, I don't think we, we can let him, um, sort of finish what he's doing, because that would, uh, and that's a Sasquatch, you know, it's like a big guy, very oh, powerful. Yeah. powerful yeah, we have guy. Sasquatches here. But yeah, a very powerful big guy. That would be hard right. to do. Right. Um, of course. Yeah, I um. Uh, hi, Mage. You're you're being really loud, man. I'm trying to like try to explain so you're being really loud, man. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm really trying not to. You're Shut up! Shut so up! So loud, man. Um. Okay, so we, we got the nose to contend with too. Shit. Well, oh, the nose have left the room. I know, but they're, they're around. Oh, thank you, Harrison. <laughs> Uh, no, that was what? me. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay, so you were quiet for a second. Was, I was shocked. Was Harrison. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck are you talking about, man? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I don't. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm out of sorts. You know. I. Okay. What? How do we get in there? What do we do? What's happening? What, 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 I, I, uh, uh, well, the, oh. the wall seems pretty thin. I guess we could just break through. Um, oh. But that would, you know, make quite a noise and would alert him to our presence. Yeah, make almost as noise as, as much noise as you do. You're fucking talking, man. Yeah, shut up. Um, yeah. alright, let me figure out... Are there any Dra- sharks on the other side? <laughs> <laughs> no, there are no sharks. Dracula, have you got anything? Got anything? That's nah. Here? Nah. No, nothing from Dracula. I got no weapons or anything. I just got my yeah, fucking we've got, fish we- hands. When I am at the height of my power, I can turn into a pale green mist. However, uh, I am not at the oh, height burpula. of my power. I was can just you, staked not long ago. Can you declare this your lair and give me powers? Um, well, it's not my lair, unfortunately. But the, if, if can... it was your lair, there would be a noticeable increase in the population of bats, rats, and wolves in the region. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you know, I've yeah. always noticed that in my home. I never yeah, questioned what's up why. With that, Drac? What, what, what the hell? That's a, that's a fact. Part of my dark curse. And cobwebs, too. Lots of cobwebs. Yes, but I can phase right through them. Didn't you see the movie? Yeah, I did. Uh, it's called Dracula. Oh, Dracula no. dead and loving it. Oh, yes, I have seen that. <laughs> um, how small is this imp? Can the high mage fit through the hole? Um, I, yeah, I probably could. All right, like, we start picking him up, start shoving him in. 
goes through this. Yeah, he pops oh, out on the other side. <laughs> all right. Oh, okay, I made. Okay, what me. do I do now? Okay, first of all, shut up. Be quieter. Second of all, S spoons. What does he do? I don't. What? Um. Okay, so if you um. Guys, I only have ten hit points. I you just need okay, to then, sort of you, then you gotta be careful. I'm just saying this is on you. I, you gotta be careful. I think if there's any life support that, that Hugo's on, um kill Hugo before he can get up. Or Your your friend was, kill him? Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely no, kill him. Don't kill Hugo. What? Do not of course kill, kill Hugo. Hugo. Why, no, would, of why course would I kill, kill your friend? Because he's your not friend. he's got he's brainwashed. He's he's not you don't understand. It's he, oh, he is dear. he's more dead than the uh, than than the then, the then Dracula the, 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 dead loving it. Exactly. Um, if there's like what? a like a, if there's like shut up, Dracula. You're so I loud. am dead and loving it. <laughs> Dracula, shut the fuck up. Ah, if there's ah, like ah, if there's ah. like a scalpel, maybe stab I'm Dracula in, in the in the Achilles heel. I know. <laughs> I like, know you're Dracula. Maybe like, maybe like cut out his eyes. Maybe take his eyes out. Okay. Yeah, good. If I'll, you could stab him in the heel, I'll try to do like surprise attack as much electrocute out, him with something. Okay. Take out all of his. So teeth. I'm gonna. Since you guys are like directing the high mage, and to make it more interesting, I'm gonna have you roll for whatever you want him to do. Okay. So, um, what are you what are you telling me to do exactly? Uh, cut out Hugo's eyes. No, don't. That's, that doesn't help us at all. Cut. Wait, what? What is in the room? The, to the totem and him working on Hugo's. Or anything else around the room? There's the soul totem. There are um, lots of different potions and, and potion bottles and tubes connecting them and bubbling okay. bottles. Okay. And you see one potion on a pedestal, and this potion looks more important than the others. But there's a, a little, like, like a, a little uh, line of text on this pedestal that you can't read from where you are. Okay, go read that. Go, go that's read a good, that. That's yeah, a good yeah. first thing. Go see what that potion is. Okay, 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 okay. Um... He he looks at it and he says uh, he looks he 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 waddles over there. Uh, someone roll a stealth check. So that's gonna be dexterity with your monster sheet. Okay, wait. What do you? Wait, I, I have I have plus three dex. Is that better than yours? Let me see. Um, yeah, I have zero. Oh fuck! You want to give me the help action there, Kenny? <laughs> no, no. You, that's you gonna be a ten, then. Roll. That's gonna be a ten. Okay. He he looks he over and he waddles idea. over and he reads it and he turns around and without moving any closer to you guys he says, oh, no. "It says Lich Potion 2.0. Do not drink until you have given God books to Thar's Dune." <laughs> <laughs> and Grinter turns around, looks at him, and says. What the fuck? Drink, drink it, drink it, drink it. Yeah, drink it now, drink it now, drink it now. No, it's a lich potion. I don't want to be a lich. Drink it now. I definitely don't want this imp body to be a lich. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break through the fucking wall. A lich wall. imp? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you very easily push through this wall. And I say, hey, Grinta, remember me? He turns around and looks at you and he says, Dracula? I jump for the Lich Potion. 